Hey everyone, welcome to episode number four of Heroes Charge. I'm going to do something really cool here um, over the next three episodes, and I'm going to kind of do what I'm going to recall or refer to as a mini series. So, what this mini series is going to consist of is we're going to just go ahead and we're going to run um, some advanced instances here, like your hero trial, and we're going to kind of just break down each one of the, the different options that we have here. So, today being Wednesday, we uh, are in the Valkyrie Showdown, which I suppose is probably, from my perspective, not the easiest one to, uh, to do here, but let's do it anyways. So Valkyrie Showdown is only female heroes, and as you can see, I don't really have the greatest lineup here. Um, I choose to use Death Mage, Frost Mage, uh, Ember Star, Chaplain, and commando uh, namely just because they each provide some level of benefit um, death mage and frost mage I have obviously geared up to red and they're both that are all five stars um, ember star because she is legendary at this point uh, chaplain self-explanatory because she can heal people and uh, commando because I get the damage boost here so um, I I struggle a lot in this one I do, I do like the fact that um, you know, some of these moves that, that this character set has or that this hero set has are really good and very valuable. But I wouldn't say that even on the difficulty that I am running this on, which I, I believe I just saw was difficulty six, um, I can't, I don't even feel confident to do this um, on auto fight just because something, something always tends to go wrong, right? Um, so we can see here, right? Here's are running a little low already. Like it's kind of a, a fringy, fringy first stage here, first wave, whatever you want to call it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop all of this stuff because we just need to get knocked down and knocked through this here. So that was perfect right there. And then we get a uh, full energy for all my heroes going into the last wave. Go ahead and we'll pop all this stuff again right away. We'll save the heal though for a moment. Oh, there we go. We're going to pop it again right away. <laughs> it's the, uh, it, it really is the Death Mage that makes it difficult here at the end. So I can certainly do it and I can three star it. It's no big deal. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't feel comfortable given my current set of heroes that on uh, this difficulty that I'd be able to just kind of run it and actually be successful at it. Um, I have tried difficulty seven, which would be super useful for me at this point to be able to gather like force of gods. Um, or gosh, even if I could get to here, I really need some of these dragon relics. But the reality is, is that I don't have the hero set that I need in order to be successful in doing that. So I have to just kind of live and deal with this as it comes. So we'll go ahead, we'll do this again. See if my uh, my team gets a major beat down again, like last time. Last time was last time was pretty. Pretty interesting. They ended up very, very fringy by the end of this first wave here, and they look like they're in a little bit better shape this this go around for sure. Now, one of the actually really cool things about Death Mage is that she heals herself, so I don't necessarily need to worry too much about her. There, you just saw it right at the end. Um, she brought herself all the way back up to full health, so she actually makes a pretty good like tank or frontline hero within within reason of course just gonna pop everything again right away we need to get this their death mage the enemy death mage down as far as possible there there we go perfect so you can see like on the difficulty that i'm running this on right now it's definitely not too hard by any stretch like i wouldn't necessarily call this a super difficult instance on this difficulty but um i guess i'd say it's challenging enough that I, I don't feel after watching just watching these even while i'm 100 percent in control that i would feel confident if if i went to difficulty seven and tried that out like i don't really feel confident in saying i'd even get past the first wave so there we go again there's another good example i mean the death mage can, she can take a lot of damage on and she does very well i i love this hero she is one of my favorites by far so 
It's always this last one though. It's gonna... The enemy death mage is gonna pop her attack and... There we go. Like I, I wiped him out pretty good on that, on that run. Uh, so that's solid. I think the most useful item that I get in these drops here, honestly, is just the, the rough hewn axe. Um, I have several heroes that still need that as part of their gear, so it's good that I got 50 fragments. I will probably be using that to gear up somebody here. See, this is where it gets really difficult when when they turn you to stone that becomes very difficult unless you've already popped an attack um man i hope these guys oh man my look at that my frost mage died already in the first go around at red red gear that's crazy let's see if we can just power through this i really don't want to have to try again or start over but i think our death mage needs a little help she is just, she's getting her butt kicked here. Holy cow. They keep this going. Man, there goes Ember Star. I, look at that. Even 100% in control. And I'm likely going to fail this one. Because Commando really just does not bring enough damage to the table. So really, I'm putting, I'm. Oh, yep, there it goes. Wow. Let's try again. Hopefully I don't have to show you any more super painful failures, but it just goes to show like even with legendaries and with heroes that are geared up to red, like there is there's absolutely no guarantee in these. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get crushed again here. It's it's really it's on this first wave is where it kind of sets the tone for the whole rest of the of the fight. And I mean, quite honestly, like look at my, my death mage is stunned right now yeah i mean like this is literally the same result i'm just gonna retreat now i'm not gonna even gonna waste everybody's time uh going back but we're just gonna, we're gonna kill it on, on difficulty five which it kind of sucks and i guess this is the one challenge that i have with it and i'm not sure if they should change or tweak the game quite frankly but uh the biggest challenge that i have with this is if i go to difficulty five this is a piece of cake like i honestly like i will auto fight this and be perfectly fine 100% confident that I'm going to win um, or that this isn't going to fail I should say um, I also don't think like I don't even think I'll lose a hero honestly so I mean like clearly there's a big gap between um, these difficulties so when we talk about going to difficulty 7 remember how I just told you that I didn't feel confident you know that I could even make it past wave 1 that's pretty realistic honestly now granted, I will also say that the caveat to, to this is that this is probably the instance that I struggle with the most. Um, I am not good. I, like I said, I'm happy to admit I don't have the greatest lineup of female heroes for this game right now. I'm still working on them, but man oh man, like this is the, this is the struggle, man, and it, it is real. Here we go. So here's, here's the last one. Again, I'm just doing it this way so we can auto fight and spare the uh the sadness yeah i mean on, on auto fight it's it's on i guess i should say auto fight and difficulty five totally different it is night and day but you can see and i mean like i guess what i should have done on some of these other ones is we should take a look and see who's doing the most damage and i'd be willing to bet it's going to be death mage or Maybe Ember Star, now that she is legendary and she does some burning damage over time. Things like that, but it's it's definitely not going to be Commando, and I highly doubt it's going to be Frost Mage. Frost Mage's damage actually falls off a little bit as she gets higher. So she's very good because she provides a defensive buff, but uh, the damage that she provides, obviously, I mean, you can see it right here. She is lower than Ember Star, who is not as well geared out. Um... The, the legendary helps for sure, but... And then you can see Commando there in the back just kind of hanging out. So I guess in reality, I could probably have subbed Commando out with, um, you know, someone else to kind of get me through it. But um, I do like... I just like the damage buff, really. 
so there you have it there's um there's the instance um please hit the like button leave a comment below uh but this is like i said this is the first of the mini series so uh tomorrow we will go ahead and we're going to do a different one i'm not sure which it is if it's crashed hill tuesday friday and sunday nope so it'll be cursed city here so we'll go ahead and we'll do a uh, cursed city tomorrow and we'll uh work through that and we'll have some uh, hopefully some good discussion about that hit the like button guys feel free to subscribe to the channel um we're gonna have a surprise coming for you here shortly with uh some new gaming footage and hopefully just some everyday footage i've mentioned it a couple of times here uh some of the things that go on around where i work and things like that so hopefully there's going to be some really really good content coming to the channel so stay tuned for you guys who've been watching and stuck with me in the beginning Thank you. Um, we'll see you next time.